143. Explain the following observations. Then we have letter B. Perspiring is a mechanism for cooling the body. Okay. So here I have uh, somebody uh, that I've drawn. It's a beautiful picture. I know. Uh, that's going to be perspiring, right? So perspiring, just know, is a fancy way for saying like sweating. So if you're perspiring, you are sweating. Now, this happens a lot of times, different situations. Uh, this is the reason why uh, when you take a nice hot shower and then you come out of the shower and you say to yourself, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so cold. It's cooling your body, basically perspiring. So you could either be coming out of a hot shower or a sauna. Um, you could also perspire, um, you know, from like working out. Um, also, if you eat like a hot meal and you start sweating, right? So... Um, generally speaking, if you do have a hot meal and then you allow yourself to cool down, you will cool your body. And this is why. So let's just paint a picture here. Here's a lovely person that I drawn and this person is going to start sweating, right? She's going to, you know, they're going to start perspiring. And what that means is that they're going to form water droplets and I'll, I'll call these little water droplets right on the body. They look like they have chicken pox, but <laughs> it's, it's water droplets. And what happens is when you perspire, you have the water that starts off as a liquid from being either in a hot shower or, you know, making your own uh, perspiration from sweating. It's going to turn into a gas. So perspiring is the, the idea of just undergoing vaporization or evaporation. They're both the same word. Now, when this happens, just know that vaporization or evaporation, this is a endothermic reaction. And remember, all endothermic reactions always absorb heat. So they take the heat with them and they go somewhere else. Remember, heat cannot be created nor destroyed, just transferred. And when we are talking about uh, you know, evaporation or vaporization from a liquid to a gas, um, the water, in this case, because it's sweat, it's perspiring, the water is basically stealing the heat. It is absorbing the heat. It's taking it, right? It's got to absorb it from somewhere. It's got to steal it from somewhere. Heat cannot be created nor destroyed, just transferred. So if the H2O is taking the heat and leaving it, where is it taking the heat from? Yeah, you got it. It's taking the heat from this person. So the heat is transferred from the body so the body gives heat to the H2O, which absorbs it. So in essence, all the water that is going to start coming off of the body, because it's starting to vaporize, it's turning into a gas, right? Gas, gas all around. Well, it doesn't just take it you know, take the gas off, right? It doesn't just vaporize, it takes the heat as well. So it's taking your body heat with it as it goes. And that's why since you're releasing, well, the person is releasing heat, but the H2O is gaining the heat. It's absorbing the heat. So for the body, it's an exothermic process, but for the actual water, it's a endothermic because it's absorbing the heat that the body has given off. And that's basically how the body is going to cool down. So as the body is decreasing in heat because it got, you know, taken away from it, this is the cooling effect and you will feel cool. And that's basically it.
I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep working hard. Always keep learning and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.